Hey guys, my name's Travis Rogers. And I'm Briley Phillips, and we're both from Fieldo Boats. And today we're gonna go over how to properly hook up your boat to your tow vehicle. So before you hook up your boat to your tow vehicle, you really just wanna be aware of what the tongue weight is and what it's supposed to be. Rule of thumb is typically between five and 10% of the total weight of the boat and trailer. And a lot of times they will have a sticker here right on the front of the tongue to let you know what that is. So just be aware before you hook it up to your vehicle. So we're gonna start out today, um, you wanna make sure you have two people. So we're gonna have Trav in the truck and I'm gonna guide him to the trailer. You wanna make sure you have at least two people to make it a little bit safer for you. And that way you don't have to keep getting out of the truck to see where you're at. So now that Trav's gone perfectly underneath the coupler with the ball, I'm gonna come down on my trailer jack. Make sure that two inch ball is all the way into the coupler. You wanna make sure that all hands are away from the coupler, that way you don't pinch anything in there. And as soon as that trailer jack comes off the ground, that's how you know you're all the way on the coupler. Make sure your coupler pin is all the way in there. And then always make sure that you put the safety pin in while you're towing. That way this coupler can't come up and you won't detach from the ball. Here in the state of Texas, we require that you crisscross your safety chains. Thought process, if the trailer ever did come off the ball, your chains would cradle you and allow you to stop slowly without the trailer tongue hitting the ground. So you can see they're cradled and nothing will happen. Next, we'll hook up our emergency breakaway cable. We like to hook it onto the truck and feed it through itself just to make it a little bit tighter. That way, in case the trailer does ever come off the ball, this brake cable will rip out of socket completely and lock up the trailer brakes so you know to come back here and check if anything's wrong. This right here is um, the trailer lights. This is a seven pin. Every trailer's different, but this one will have a seven pin connector plug it in right to the tow vehicle. And as soon as you get these, this light connect connector in, you're gonna go to the back of the trailer and make sure all the lights are working. The running lights, brake lights, and every blinker. Make sure every time that you plug this in, you wanna check your lights every time. Every time we sell a boat to a customer, we always check to make sure their lights work on their truck. Some trucks have blown fuses, so we like to make sure that every single truck has operating lights. Okay, so I definitely wanna point out these transom straps here. This is something you're gonna to wanna to have on your boat every time you're trailering it to wherever you're going. You really want them nice and tight uh, before you leave where you're going. So you want them real tight because when you're going down the highway and if you hit a bump or potholes, the back of the boat's really gonna be bouncing around. So it just keeps it tied down to the trailer and makes it much easier towing. Uh, so now we're gonna go ahead and head down to the ramp. So now that we're a little bit closer to the ramp, we're gonna put our drain plug in and take our transom straps off. So now that I got the straps off, we're gonna put them in the boat. I'm gonna get ready to launch and Travis is gonna take our bow strap off. That way we can go have some fun for the day. So a good rule of thumb when you're launching the boat, you know, depending on the, the boat ramp, the lake levels will be fluctuated, but typically you wanna have your fender whales just underneath the water line when launching the boat. That's just gonna allow the boat to come off nice and smooth. Now that Trav has us unhooked from the trailer, we're gonna back off the trailer and go have some fun on the water. Check your surroundings, make sure nobody's behind you. You wanna make sure that you're straight. Line that D ring all the way up to that yellow bow roller. I'm gonna have to come back probably. Oh, 
You always want your driver to give you a second hand and tell you how far to keep going. Once he gives you that thumbs up, you're there. Okay, so when you're coming onto the trailer, you really want the top of those fender wells just out of the water. That really gives the boat driver something to look at, something to aim for. It also puts the bunk boards right out of the water so they can just see that trailer a little bit better. Now, once you have the boat all the way up onto the trailer, how it's supposed to be, you really wanna make sure and check that the bow eye is right up against this bow roller. That's just gonna really keep that boat from bouncing around as you're going down the road and just make sure that winch strap is nice and tight. And when that winch strap is nice and tight, you also wanna make sure that you've got your safety chain or safety cable attached to that bow eye as well.